In today's video, we are uh, going to look into a command that is called order and uh, what this command would do is it would order the variables in the way that we want. So to demonstrate this, uh, let's just import a data which uh, is the auto data that we normally use with with our data uh, with our uh, video tutorials. So these are the variables that you see and the order that that they would appear in. Uh, so let me show you from the data view. Uh, so make would come first and the price MPG and rep 70 and so on and so forth. And if you were to export this data into Excel or, or uh, let's just say these were the results that you had made in, um, in, in Stata, data frame. So uh, you'd want to give a specific order to them. So you would maybe we want say the foreign to come first and then you would want the weight to be the next variable to display. For whatever reason, uh, you would want to order the variable. This is the command that would help you out in that matter. But before we move forward, do remember the the file, uh, the, the do file is in the link given in the description. And, uh, and normally we use the code to to understand different aspects of strata but i do like to uh, and give uh, the idea of the menu just in case so the order menu the order command can also be used from the menu by clicking on the data then uh, data utilities and then we have change order of the variables and there are multiple options that we are going to see Okay, so first thing, so if I just tried, so the, the basic syntax uh, is you write the command name and then the list of the variables. It can be single variable or a list of the variable. And uh, if we write this command, what it would do is it would take weight and bring that weight at the top list of the variable. So it will be the first variable that would appear. And if I were to show you from the data view, uh, this weight would come from here to be, you know, to the first column. So order weight, and we can see that weight would come first. The rest of the variables, uh, the, the order of the rest of the variable would, would remain same. It won't be uh, changed. So the default is that any variable that you mention after the other command would come uh, at the start, uh, right? In the starting columns, in the first columns. And if you were to give multiple variables, so let's say we want to order foreign mileage length. So this is the foreign that is in last, then we have length in the middle and somewhere over here is mileage. We want all of them to come first, right? But in a specific order. So first we would have mileage foreign, then we would have mileage and then the length variable. So this is the order that we would get. Then uh, we also might want to uh, move these variables <laughs> To the end of the uh, to the last columns this is where the last option would come in we use option after the comma so instead of bringing them uh, at the start we want to take them to the end so order weight comma last so that would be uh, the weight variable and if we want wanted to take foreign mileage and length to the last then that would be uh, like this Then we have over here the before and after option and as the name suggests what this before option would do it would move a variable before a specific variable. So let's just say there is this turn variable and we want to move this before the trunk variable so it should always come before the trunk variable. This is, this is how the order should be. So we would use order turn so this is the variable that we want to move comma before the trunk variable. So this is where we use the before option, right? And we can also use after option. So order displacement after weight. So this is the displacement and this is weight. So the displacement would move after weight. Then we can also sort these variables alphabetically. But, uh, you know, if we were to use just this command, um, order alphabetically this alphabetic option 
then it would throw an error and it would say VR list is required. And what it is saying is that you would always have to mention the variable list. You know, when you are working with variables and let's just say there are um, quite a lot of number of variables, because once uh, when we are performing analysis, we tend to create variables. And so, so you definitely have a large list of variables and somehow it is easy to, you know, when you are scrolling, it is easy to have these variables in alphabetical order so you can quickly reach towards the variable. You can always use this filter over here to, you know, uh, let's just say we were interested in displacement, then we can quickly uh, filter that variable out. But uh, sometimes it's, uh, it's easy to have these variables in alphabetical order. So if you were to make all these variables in alphabetical order, so what we would do is we would select all these variables. And what I did is I selected the first one by simple click, then hold shift, click the last variable name, and you click this arrow, downward arrow icon over here. You get the list of the variables, uh, all the variables, right? You just copy them and paste them over here and that would but it uh, so so i didn't write the correct spelling i guess so this is how it would uh, sort all these variables alphabetically right but if we were to just uh, sort these three variables if you were to give only these three variables then what it would do is it would take all these three variables move them at the top because remember the default of order command is to move variables uh, to the top or the start starting column and then it would sort only these specific variables because I have used alphabetic order so remember now it has moved price, rep 78, mileage, but they did, do not appear in this specific order, price, repair, and mileage. But the order is changed because we have used alphabetic option. If we didn't use alphabetic option, the order would have been price, rep 78, and mileage. Okay. So last thing uh, would be the wildcard and although wildcard is not specific to this order command, the, it is used with other commands as well. So if you were to order all variables that start with T or say T A or whatever the case may be, but in this case I have two variables that start with uh, T. So this is trunk and turn. So I want all these variables. So so, so what I am saying over here is order all variables that start with T and doesn't matter uh, what is, uh, what, what alphabets or what numbers come after T. So it would bring trunk and turn uh, at the top. For this last option, which is sequential, let me generate few variables and Remember the sequence of these variables. So we are generating A2, B3, A1, and A2. And the same sequence is over here, same order is over here. If we were to reorder them, and we wanted them uh, to be, let's just say, at the top, and also in a sequential order, so A1, then we should have A2, then we should have B3 and B, B2 and B3. So we would use uh, order A asterisk because we want all the variables starting with A and B asterisk because we want all the variables starting with B. But do remember that uh, it would also take the other variables that would start with B. Luckily, I do not have any variables starting with B or A. So when you are using, uh, do remember to have to use it cautiously. So if I were just to use this, uh, it will bring them at the top because what this command is doing is, it is saying that order all variable, so, so take a variable starting with A, place them at the top, take variable starting with B, and then uh, put them afterwards. But remember the sequence was A2, A1, that sequence isn't changed. 
so it isn't in sequential order but rather um, more of the order that we have given over here if we wanted it to have a sequential order one two three and four like that then we would use the sequential option and now we would have anything starting with a would have its own sequence and then any variable starting with b if they were in opposite um, uh, uh, sequence then again we would first have all the variables starting with b but they would be order in uh, will be order sequentially uh, okay so so sequential order also would work with sorry alphabetical order right so whether they are in alphabetic order or they have number they would be sorted out sequentially so thanks for watching this video do subscribe and do hit the bell icon